Sniffle. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. Some <laughs> kingdom be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Ooh, ha ha ha! My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us high up here. You know, Princess Peach, as long as I have this star rod, no one in this Mushroom Kingdom will can touch me. You know, the power that grants everyone's wishes is mine. Now, isn't that just wonderful? Nee hee hee hee. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your sub just wants to be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you know, you want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. Take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. Bleh ha 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 ha. If, oh please, if only somebody could help me. Huh? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get up here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. That's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Now, here's my wish. Go right now and take the Star Rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask me something easy, like something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright, don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink. Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to Muscle Kingdom just as quickly as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... Fine, he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Mario, where are you? Anyway, so... Four minutes late, but what's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Um, we made it to Shooting Star Summit, only to hold we have to save the seven star spirits. This part, we might as well go back to Toad Town to see how we can get to Cooper Brothers Fortress, which is where the uh, fourth star spirit is. Ouch. Oh, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars, I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. The Lucky Star. Star-shaped panelist. She used the action command. That's the Lucky Star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. Can I take a moment to explain what the action command is? We're going to read the tutorial. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario, of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. 
This is kind of a tutorial how to use the uh, Axe Man. First Mario, use the Jump Man to decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the Axe Man command will appear. Right now, just before stopping the enemy. I say exactly this moment. When you see nice appear, that means you successfully use the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you'll do. No, okay, no, this time, good Mario, you try to talk Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Right now, press save just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you definitely use the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, often you'll have to use different techniques to make sure you use the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Star flashes as soon as your power reaches maximum. That's where you let go. Alright, you've just used the action command. Well, Mario, do you want to understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you must have to use it properly. No. You don't need to practice anymore? That's our Mario. You're a quick learner. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. Once you understood how to use the action command properly, it would be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! What? I can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll teach Cam I'll tell Cam Keeper, she'll solve me a prank, she'll give me a raise. Here I come. Anyways, this is the first fight with a magic Koopa, so we're gonna explain the uh, power jump action man. If you, if you, with the power jump action man, it does four damage. Unfortunately, in this game, you don't start with the action command like you do in Thousand Year Door. This is a magic Koopa. Magic Koopa would use magical rods. Max P eight, attack power three, defense power zero. Max Max, no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. And I didn't get the action command right, but one more power jump will take him out. We got 15 star points out of that. Very solid. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm, no, I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell you are okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's go back down to bit. Let's get down to business. Anyway, so we're pretty much gonna go to Toad Town to see what we can pretty much do to that. We're gonna pretty much um, we have to pretty much uh find a way because like um, could go to Cooper Brothers Fortress. However, um, oh Mario, Erlon was looking for you. He lives in the house with the spinning roof. He asked um, me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's friends from Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit in, 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 eccentric. When he has, even when he has visitors, right from the car to the house at all. Anyway, so um, if we basically um, see the blue pole in front of the post office, the roads. That's it. The turn of signs. Farm plays for us. You know, it's hard to read all the signs to see. Oh, north is Peach's Castle, west is Main Gate, east is Pleasant Path, and south is the Post Station, which we can't access yet. However, we can also can't access Pleasant Path because you don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Good thing Kubra's Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. They basically gave us a hint on what to do. Erlin is out. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out. What 
the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You shouldn't have come. You should have come earlier. Well, when well, you're here now, come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you, but before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days, one of the ancestors he was up at shooting star summon as usual, but one day happened. Suddenly, a great appeared and I sang face to face. In the far away, the pious raised me up was amazing. I was still so young then I believed in, but our hearts were. And then, oh. And that is all that matters. Ha, uh, hey! Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, all right. So anyway, I, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you come to me. I can predict the path you take for a small price. Right now, your main goal is to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. According to my second sight, your path must be first take you to the Great Fortress of the Cooper Brothers. To reach the Cooper Brothers Fortress, head east on the road in the front of the Toad House. So basically, if you can't find your way to the next chapter, he will basically, um... He will you give you. You can give him a small amount of coins, and basically, uh, he can give you the pathway toward it. But if you talk to him, come again. Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom. Just follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm, you aren't toads, aren't you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're what kids. Anyway, we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. And it's the Koopa Brothers. Arrgh! Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Brothers. How? How did you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Ducks, black, yellow, green, we retreat for now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Cooper Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Cooper Brothers Fortress. There's a oh Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Cooper Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shelled Koopa. That is this is a strange pretend. In Cooper Village you must sign something that will clear it up. I must return home now. I guess we can go to... I guess I can also demonstrate how these toad house work. You basically, um... You basically take a nap and it reveals... It basically replenishes all your stats. Anyway, so now we're gonna go rightwards into... Chapter 1! Storming Koopa Brothers Fortress. Anyway, so we're also going to demonstrate a new enemy. Anyway, I did not expect to get a first strike, but uh, these are the Koopas. Um, basically, you jump on them, and then they'll lay on their backs, and that when they're on their backs, that base, they're basically more vulnerable. So if I just power jump, that'll just instantly kill them. And we should be able to just take out Goombas in one turn now, so uh, that's pretty solid. Now there's two new enemies that we're going to see in this area. This is not one of them. Okay, I think much like the Earthbound playthrough, like, um, I'll be fighting as many battles as possible. Any unnecessary ones, I'll just, like, keep out of the video. I want to get this badge, I want to get this badge. This is the Dizzy Attack badge, and if we, uh, go into our stats, it's, uh, delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. We're not going to equip that just yet. Alrighty, the good thing about the Spike Goombas now is that we can just flat out insta-kill them anyway. This is the Fright Jar. They basically, uh, it basically, um, makes the scary spirit away to chase- 
enemies away. If we also get this, this is a POW block, which flips shell enemies and inflicts two damage on their enemies. Great for enemies with Pierce uh, defense some stats, which the Koopas have won. Alrighty, so now we're off that, so, um... We got instantly got into another battle, but we're also almost a level up, so that's sweet. I think there should be some coins in the, uh... Yeah, some coins and uh... Which is pretty solid. I would suggest mainly get a lot of coins in this chapter, particularly. There'll be, there'll be ways we can get coins later on, but, um... Get a bunch of coins when you're doing 100%. Anyway, so um, if we check the sign up here, Koopa's Fortress and Koopa Village. So Merlin told us to go to Koopa Village, so I think that's where we're gonna head off next. However, if you hit these blocks in this particular order, left, right, left, right, up, we have a hidden block, which is the attack FXB badge, which um, I'll kind of show it off. It kind of adds a sound effect to your uh, attacks. I like to use different combinations when I get more later in the game. Can't be, are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we were really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Now, can you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, do you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. So yeah, you basically, you don't have to save the Koopas, but like, usually if you have a good heart, you can save the Koopas. Yeah. I actually, I did not read through that. Anyway, this guy's gonna go through it. This, you don't have to, you actually do not have to save these Koopas. Oh, you're the best, thank you very much. You don't even get a reward for saving these Koopas, just like uh, in good heart to save these Koopas. Thanks, Mario. This show was made, made was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Go in here. Not what I intended. There we go. So uh, Koopa Leaf, which uh, is another thing we're gonna need for a little bit later. I'm gonna get another Koopa Leaf. Um, maybe I can't get another Koopa Leaf. I'm just gonna get a couple of these, and I think I'm for another one. I'm gonna, um. Oh, look! I love this character, by the way. We're gonna talk to him. Go quiz! Check quizmas the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I can give you a star piece. Wanna try a quiz? Yes. Let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Goombari's younger sister? That would be Goombari, uh... Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You have correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. There are 64 of these throughout the whole game, and part of 100% has all the Chuck Quizmo quizzes. We will be going after all of them. Now, I'm actually going to check a, um... I'm actually going to check a Koopa Leaf, and I think I'm going to check um, a Sleepy Sheep because I don't need them. Anyways, so I guess we can kind of, I guess we can help on the other side of a, a Koopa Village. So, um, yeah, you want this, this Koopa you kind of want to approach slow. Problem's a lot harder doing it with like a pro controller. I get this damn shell. Come on. There we go! Thank you! 
Typical morning of Sarah, you're just as cool as I heard you were. This is the last of the Koopa shells. Anyway, so... I must have known you're so clever, Mario. Anyway, so let's talk to this guy in this red house. What in the world is coming when a Koopa can't step outside of fear of fuzzies? I've lived many, many years and this is the time I've seen anything like this. He's gonna be a little... He, we're gonna use utilize him a little bit later, but if we talk to this woman... These fuzzies, well, they miss she's never in. My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You've never heard of him? He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if that's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. <laughs> yeah. But there's a lot of mischief going in this house. Let's let's investigate. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper! Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you! Us meeting here has got to be a fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. Th this wild fuzzy took my shell, which next in my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is the, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll go in the door while you grab him like whoop. Problem is if we try to hammer this particular fuzzy, he just leaves. He just leaves. I'm not gonna Cooper. I'm gonna try it for. I've got outside covered. Catch that fuzzy. But yeah, he still thinks it's in the house. Or we have to go through his back door. Anyway, so we cannot get that badge quite yet, but we are going to need it. Me York, me York, come get it if you can. Me York, guess where I'm hiding? This section, by the way, kills a lot of speed runs in this game that I've seen. Because, like, I've heard with, like, with speed running this game, you want this and RNG to be in favor. You also want to watch it. And, like, um, I think runners try to aim it for the same tree three times. It just it eventually gets faster. So, uh, you really want to watch this. But yeah, it's, it looks like it's in that tree again. Dark, me, Ark. You got me twice. It must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Me, Ark. That's what I'm hiding. It was the same tree three times. Me, oh no! I would give Uncle. Take the stupid shell. A Cooper shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. The music changes. I like this music, by the way. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell. I'm gonna show these fuzzy what's what. We already got the shell back. Oh yes! Yes! This is my shell! Alright! Oh yeah, oh yeah, got my shell back. Uh-huh. Oh, you're the greatest Mario, big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say hey, Mario, do you I have, I have an idea. Do you ever know who Professor Colorado? Naturally he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He also known as an explorer. Right, I live next to him. I've been admired because I've been car since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happy than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. Do you think could I could you please take me with me tomorrow? Come on, help, come on, let me go. What do you think? Actually the option of take or don't take. The game doesn't advance they so say take, so Oh yes, yes, I'm on my way! I swear, I Cooper will follow you anywhere in the ends of the earth. And Cooper joins our party. Press C down to make him throw himself and reach an item and switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss. Or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press C right and select the member you want to use. Me, I changed the 
changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Anyway, so, um, these are fuzzies. Now, they have 3 HP, and if you attack them, they can suck your HP and heal them. However, I, this is why I bought the Fire Flower back in Toad Town. I'm just gonna flat out insta-kill these assholes. We're already over halfway to a level up. We are no. What we good? What we good? Now we have pretty much saved all. We pretty much have done all we could. Cooper Village. We all we can Cooper Village for now. And this is the HP. This is the HP plus badge, which um it increases maximum HP by five. So that's a really good badge. To have. It uses three BP though, so we're not going to use it quite yet. I think I'm gonna lay it off for this part of Paper Mario, so next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna do none of them after I get the star piece. Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna do none other than go to Cooper Brothers Fortress. See you guys then.